Well, hello there. New Milan Design here with another video from the series called Before and After, where I'll be showing you render settings for my projects. Today we are working with this modern brutalist style architecture house, and the shot we're looking for is a sunrise shot or at dawn. So let's uh, create our base uh, render. And as usual, a copy of the same thing for our effects. I'm going to select the, the style from Lumion called Dawn. Just to quickly uh, select all the, uh, the effects we're going to uh, need today. Plus, I will choose a volumetric sunlight because we'll uh, need it for our render today. I'm quickly going to disable it just for now so we can actually see uh, our picture and work on it at the end. So let's start with the sky and clouds. Uh, as you can see, the, the sky is not very visible in the background. So I'm just going to put uh, the high clouds up only a little bit, the amount up as well. And anyway, the, the background will be uh, quite blurry. So it, um, you don't have to play uh, too much with, uh, with the sky preset today. So moving on to uh, our sun. Uh, I'm going to adjust the position to come uh, from my left and a little higher. So let's just rotate the, um, the sun a little bit. I think I want a little bit of the, of the shadow from the trees on my left and bring the sun, sun height up a little bit as well, somewhere around there. That looks pretty good. Moving on to a sharpening tool. Very simple, just bring up the uh, intensity a little bit and you're done. Exposure always at the end. Color correction. Now uh, today, as you can see, the, the overall feel of the, of the shot is uh, nice and warm. So we want to, uh, to uh, keep the temperature in the warm colors. So I'm going to bring you up just a little bit and contrast saturation will work maybe a little later on. Reflections, not too many reflective surfaces today. So let's just select them one by one. There's a glass in here. There's a glass window in here. And let's do the, the glass on the pool as well. And that's it, pretty uh, straightforward. Don't forget to uh, turn on the speed rate reflections. Moving on to the next stop, hyperlight. Just going to bring it down a little bit. As you can see, my interior is uh, lit by, uh, by the lights, by the interior lights, so I don't need uh, too much light on the interior today from the outside, so somewhere around there. Moving on to our skylight. Uh, I'm going to bring the, uh, the brightness up just a little bit and turning on the planar and the projected reflections as well as the quality of the render to high. As I always mention in these tutorials, the skylight and the hyperlight, any of those uh, effects you will not be able to see or changes you will not be, not be able to see in the viewer. So you need to do a couple of test renders to uh, see the results. Moving on to uh, shadow, I'm going to bring the brightness up just a little bit, but not too much because uh, the sun is pretty low, which means we're going to have pretty strong uh, contrast in our picture today. Let me double check the Omni Shadow, maybe just a little bit down. And the coloring, I want to bring down as well, because going to the left, you'll get a warmer feel in your shadows. Um, bringing it up all the way to the right, you'll get a little bit bluish um, tint into your shadow. So obviously, uh, today the light is very warm, therefore, uh, we're going to bring the coloring uh, down. Next stop, chromatic aberrations. This is already set, uh, preset from Lumion. I'm just going to bring it down only a tiny bit around there. And the depth of field, as I mentioned uh, in the beginning. So I'm going to bring the amount up somewhere around past the, the midpoint. And the foreground and background uh, slider almost all the way to the background. Now let's select our focusing point. 
somewhere in here in the middle of the house. The main portion of the house should be uh, in focus. Turn it on and there you go. The background is nice and blurry and the whole house will simply pop uh, from your picture. So we are done in there and let's go back to uh, our volumetric sunlight. As you can see that's that's the effect on top of the, uh, the picture. So we need to bring the brightness almost all the way down. This is quite a difficult uh, effect to work with. You need to uh, hold your shift key to be able to adjust it really well. And the range, a little less, somewhere around there, just a tiny bit. Now, as you can see the difference, the light is coming uh, from the left. So basically the, the volumetric sunlight effect you will see mostly on your left. It shouldn't be on, on the right. And exposure, let's see if we need to bring it just a little bit down perhaps. So right around there to have nice uh, contrast in between the shadows and the, the sunny parts. And I think that looks pretty, pretty nice for uh, for today so let's have a look what we're going to get with our final uh, render and as usual guys thanks for watching stay well and stay creative <laughs>